Alright, let's look at the pH scale. So, a lot of these concentrations of acids are relatively small. And so we need a convenient way to represent solution acidity. And so we use pH, which is a log scale based on 10. And so pH is equal to the negative log of the H plus concentration. So if H plus is 1 times 10 to the negative 7, then that's the pH is equal to negative times negative 7, which is equal to 7. So to determine significant figures, the number of significant figures in the original number is equal to the number of decimal places in the log. So here, we have two significant figures. And in the pH, we have two decimal places. Okay, so it's a little bit different of a rule. Number of significant figures is equal to the number of decimal places. Okay, just like we said pH is equal to negative log of H+, plus, pOH is equal to negative log of the OH minus concentration. And so we can write a general equation of piece of K equals negative log of K. The pH changes by 1 for every power of 10 change in the H plus concentration because it's a log scale based on 10. So this also means that because it's negative, as the pH decreases, concentration of H plus increases. So an increase in H plus will decrease our pH concept, or will decrease our pH. So let's look at an example. I'm going to calculate the pH and the pOH for each of the following solutions at 25 Celsius. Okay, so we have 1 times 10 to the negative 3 molar of OH. Okay, well first we need to find our OH concentration, so we're going to take our K, set our K, which is 1 times 10 to the negative 14, divided by our OH, which is 1 times 10 to the negative 3. That gives us 1 times 10 to the negative 11, or H+. Plus. Okay, we know that pH is equal to negative log of H+, plus, which in this case is 1 times 10 to the negative 11. And so this means that the pH is equal to 11. pOH is equal to the negative log of the OH concentration. And in this case, that's 1 times 10 to the negative 3. And so pOH equals 3. Okay, let's look at the next one, which is 1 molar of H. So same idea. We're going to take our 1 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by 1 times 10. I guess it is. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. So we've got one molar of H plus. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. So we've got one molar of H plus. So we're going to do the same process. 1 times 10 to the negative 14 for K divided by our 1 molar gives us 1 times 10 to the negative 14 for our OH minus. Okay, so if we want the pH, that's equal to the negative log of our 1 molar. Negative log of 1 is 0. And if we want pOH, it's equal to negative log of our OH concentration, which is 1 times 10 to the negative 14. And so that's equal to 14. Okay, let's look at the relationship between KW and pH. KW, we know, is the concentration of H plus times the concentration of OH minus. And we know we can break this up into saying that the log of K of W is the log of H plus plus the log of the OH concentration. And then we can make all of these negative. And so negative log of H plus is equal to pH. Negative log of OH minus is equal to pOH. So we can rewrite this to say that P of KW is equal to the pH plus the pOH. And since we also know that Kw is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14, P of Kw is negative log of 1 times 10 to the negative 14, which is 14. And so this means that pH plus pOH is equal to 14. So if you know one, you know the other. So let's look at another example. 
pH of a sample of human blood was measured to be 7.41 at 25 Celsius. Okay, so since I know that the pH is equal to 7.41, and I know that P of a pH plus pOH equals 14, I can take 14 minus 7.41 and get 6.59 as my pOH. Okay, now to find the concentration of H plus and OH minus, I know pH is equal to negative log of H plus. So I know 7.41 equals negative log of H plus. Let's get rid of the negative, so negative 7.41 equals log of H plus. Now the inverse log is 10 to the power. So 10 to the negative 7.41 is equal to the concentration of H plus. And 10 to the negative 7.41 is 3.9 times 10 to the negative 8. I can do the same thing with the pOH. If I follow these same steps down, I can say that 10 to the negative 6.59 is equal to the concentration of OH minus. And 10 to the negative 6.59 is 2.6 times 10 to the negative 7 molar. So inverse of log is 10 to that power. Okay, some strategies for acid-base problems, and then we're going to look at more of these later, is to think chemistry. So focus on the components and their reactions. It should always be possible to choose one reaction that is most important, so don't let get bogged down. Be systematic. Acid-base problems require step-by-step -step approach, so you know apply those steps, but don't memorize them. Each problem is different. Be flexible. Treat each problem as a separate entity. Although you may see patterns, not every problem fits the same mold. Also, be patient. Pick the problem apart into its workable steps. You don't try to solve the whole thing in one glance. You have to do it step by step. Okay, and be confident. Remember to understand and think. Don't just memorize. Okay, you can't apply the same process to every problem. Every problem is different. If you understand how acid-based problems work, you can solve any problem.